Now today we've got a UFC commentator, Carl Demond, joining us all the way from United Kingdom. Thank you so much, Carl, for joining us on the show today. You're welcome to In The Game. Thank you for having me. All right, let's run through to what's going to happen next weekend, I would say. Um, Israel Adesanya up against Alex Pereira. So Alex is already playing in Israel Adesanya's head. We can see that. He's playing the mind games already. Now, do you think we'll see a different Israel this time? At least someone who is not cut up um, to play games against Alex. Yeah, I, I think so. It was a big thing with this fight anyway, that mm. Alex Pereira has beaten Adesanya in the past twice, in fact, mm. um, and he's the only man to ever stop him. So that's such a big deal going into the fight because Adesanya usually comes in incredibly confident. Um, but I, I, don't know, I don't know how he's going to approach this one and, and how those two wins in the past are going to affect him going in. Okay, obviously Israel is a much more grounded fighter, it's obvious, but it takes one to win a bout. A lot, of, a lot say that um, Alex Pereira is as good as a losing champion going into this bout. Some also suggest that his strike is not heavy enough and not a decent one to beat Israel Adesanya. What's your take on that? The, the big interesting point about this fight is that what Ad, uh, Pereira's proven that he can beat him in the past. Um, obviously, he's a, a very good striker uh, like Adesanya, but the difference between the two in the past was always the power of Alex Pereira. And he's shown that so far in the UFC, just devastating finishes in nearly all of his fights. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's the big question for Adesanya is can he avoid that power? Because they can go strike for strike. It's mm -hmm. just that power difference. Pereira that prevents the the kind of the biggest challenge for Adesanya in this fight. Okay, um, Carl, you know that Israel has been through a lot. They had a training camp from Berman and um, in his UFC career, the UFC 258, he, his coach admitted that he needs a lot. He needs to tighten the loose ends. And many say that the only way Israel can win this bout is if it makes it a boring fight. Do you also agree that Israel should make this bout a boring one? I think that making it a boring fight maybe depends on what you expect from the fight. Because you have to consider that the, the two men fought in kickboxing beforehand. Mm -hmm. So if you go into it expecting a very strategic fight, then I don't think it would be boring. But I do expect Israel to come in and be very calculated because mm -hmm. he knows that he can be knocked out by Pereira. It's happened in the past. Mm -hmm. But he also knows that he's got way more experience fighting in MMA. So I think he'll use that to his advantage. And yeah, I, th I think he'll play it uh, fairly safe. So what is next for Israel Adesanya if he defeats Alex Pereira at the UFC 281? I don't really see another middleweight contender. I think that they've kind of been waiting for Alex Pereira to get to this position so they could make this fight. Um, and if he's successful, I could see him going up to light heavyweight again and having mm. another shot at, at that goal. Obviously, he failed in the past when he went up and fought Jan Blachowicz. But with the lack of middleweight contenders, because he's beaten the majority of them already, mm -hmm. uh, I, I can see him trying his hand at that again, um, unless another contender emerges out of nowhere. But it doesn't look like it right now. So who um, is the odds against and who are the odds for between these two fighters? Um, I, th I think that this fight is really going to prove Adesanya as not just a kickboxer. Um, he, the way that he developed into MMA was incredible. Alex Pereira has only been competing in MMA since 2015 and has way less fights in MMA than, than Adesanya. And I think he can use that to his advantage. Um, because this isn't a kickboxing match mm -hmm, after all. Mm -hmm. He beat him twice in kickboxing, but this is a different different cage, mm. different story altogether. Mm. All right. Thank you so much, Carl Demon, for that update there. We'll wait until the day for the bout. Remember that it's between two who have been together a long time. So they're coming again for a rematch this time. We can't wait to see who the results will favor. Thank you so much, Carl Demon, for your analysis over there.